is resonated, this would be making, if not for the fact that this three-year-old brand name Dremel didn't just crap hate on me. All right, I lied a bit. It's manufactured 2012, but to give you a sense of how little this tool has been used, this is the set of little copy parts I purchased for it when I bought the Dremel. All of these are pretty much half full or above. All of these are left, all of these are left. I used like, what, four sanding rings? So this has not seen much mileage at all. This thing is practically brand new and just, and just look at it, it's, it's been taken care of, right? I take care of my tools, this thing's barely seen any hours. So I just had it apart, had the brushes eight and uh, they have actually been chipped. So I'm thinking, perhaps that happened a moment ago and uh, uh, some piece of the brushes got lodged in and it just blew the fuse. That's what I'm hoping's happened. If something's gone horribly wrong, then uh, the, all the electronics are going to be bust and there's going to be a pain because this thing is obviously out of warranty. But let's just have it apart, have a look inside, so I can keep on going with my other real project. Where I'd have my expensive brand name tool crap out. And just for good measure, here's a power meter, here's the Dremel. Nothing happens. It's 100% dead, so the way it died is, uh, at first it died for a second, then I whacked it, and then it kept on going. So, it's kind of hinting at a mechanical issue. If it was uh, the uh, little trike dimmer circuit, uh, I would have expected this to go full speed before blowing the fuse. So, hmm, it's a bit of an odd issue. Let's just see what we find inside. And here come the brushes. Well, they're, they're not exactly big. There is plenty of material left on there. If this motor is designed to crap out with brushes this big, then, then I have an issue with it. Then I'm not buying a Dremel for my next tool. What seems to be the issue? Well, I will be fucked. The electronics have gone out on this thing. So, if we just test it, you see this is turned on to about halfway. And it's plugged in. Turn the power on, we've got full voltage on the cord, full voltage going to the motor control unit. But if we measure on the brush connectors, there's just nothing. Like two volts. <laughs> That's that is absolute bullshit. That is incredibly poor. This thing has no use. This thing is practically brand new. And the electronics have gone out. I've cleaned it out with alcohol and compressed air in the electronics section. Nothing's changed. I can't believe it. I mean, just look at these commutator bars. They're not even worn in. I, if I scratch my fingernail on there, I cannot even f feel the groove where the brushes have been brushing. And the electronics have gone out. Are you joking? I mean, this thing doesn't look half bad. Otherwise, decent sized bearings, nice fan, decent everything, but the electronics have gone out after what? How many hours does it take to put that much wear on that commutator? Nothing, this, uh, absolutely nothing. This is ridiculous. Oh well, it seems I was a bit too quick to judge on the electronics, because the issue actually seems to be more electrical than electronic. Uh, so this, this is the stator, obviously, and it's got two windings, as you would see on any stator, uh, but uh, see how they 
these little copper wires which run from the connectors are just hanging free in the air and that seems to have caused one of the wires to just shear off right after the connector and it's been just jumping off and this uh, coil is entirely open circuit huh that was unexpected well at least that's uh, probably easier to fix than the electronic module and hopefully that won't even work once I solder this back together in fact the other connector uh, they've actually failed to crimp it at all because uh, this was just kind of uh, you can see how the wire is supposed to go into that little slit in there uh, but it was actually just crammed in underneath the connector so it was actually making a connection at all that's why the wire remained inside when I pulled the connector out very shoddy very very shoddy this is not what I would expect in a product this expensive alright so I've now recrimped one side of a V part which wasn't properly crimped at all so that should be decently connected now and as you can see I've uh, soldered an extension lead to the one the wire which had just uh, snapped and uh, I'm going to try and just uh, very gracefully force this down into this little track there to actually reseed this and hopefully let me get on with my work Alright, so I've now just siliconed it up to stabilise it and lo and behold now we've got continuity 24 ohms on both coils so I'm just going to let this dry and it's hopefully going to be good to go Alright, if this is dry enough for me let's see if we can piece this piece of shit together and not resume our work because it's way too late in the evening for that. Magic electronics module completed. And that just is an interesting part where we actually got to hook this on onto our fucked up connectors. Is there a difference which way around this goes? Probably not since both chokes are identical so fucked up connectors of that one on top there and yeah that's good enough for me we'll just use some brute force yeah it's good enough this is for choke uh, brush holder as well though so it needs to be relatively well aligned but I think that's, that, that'll have to do. It's obviously not going to be less reliable than it was. And that goes on that way. This is obviously wrong. I've put something on upside down. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. That's going to work out a lot better. The picture quality of this looks like absolute trash. I'm using this fancy smartphone app to film this. And uh, it seems as if the exposure is like two stops too low and there's no way to adjust it. So if this looks like a trash blame Panasonic. And of course not using a new camera yet because I'm still putting together all the accessories, making that giant battery thing and all. In fact, that is literally what I'm making right now. Right. So I'll put that to like halfway. Let's see how many parts can fly out. Hey, look.
look at that. Do the speed control. Right, good. Issue solved. Puffers back together. So I can't finish my project tonight. Thanks a lot, Dremel. You piece of utter trash. A uh, quick but important note, it actually matters which way around you put this uh, stator winding because I put it in the wrong way first and something was rubbing uh, and uh, flipped it around and now it's spinning very well. Mm. Odd, you'd think they'd make this perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> Cheerio.